What's going on, y'all? Y'all don't know what it is by now. It's Radical Rad, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe to your boy for more. Be back with Become a Rockstar, man. All right, so let's just recap it a little bit before we get started, because we're going to jump right into this. I'm going to give you a little slight recap. You know what I'm saying? So we made, we made some decisions in a previous episode where, you know, the red-headed beast and the red-headed snake, the red-headed mom and the red-headed daughter, hey, man. You made we made some decisions so let's get right into this man enough talking let's get it man i'm glad to see y'all it's been a minute let's get to it so kurt says hmm hello hey kurt says selena oh selena didn't expect to hear from you kurt says hesitantly because i know he's hesitant because he already know what he did her mom yo kurt her mom bro come on my g i hope i'm not distracting you from anything says selena kurt says no not at all besides I will always have time for you. Oh, you a smooth talk. Look at you with the smoothness. With the smoothness. I'll always have time for you. Even though I had a little bit of time with your red-headed snake mother. You use a slick one, Kurt. I don't mess with slick. I mess with Kurt. Mm, glad to hear it, says Selena. Kurt, so... Selena cuts off Kurt and says, The truth is, I'm calling at Rose's request. Wait a second, what? What? No, 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 no. She cut us off to say she's calling at Rose's request. What the fuck? Hold on, was this was this a was this a test? Come on, bro. Hold on, hold on. I got I gotta see this, bro. I gotta see what he's talking about. Kurt thinks who's had Rose's request. What? Yo, same thing. I'm saying, Kurt. What does she mean by Rose's request? Okay, uh, I'm listening. Kurt says hesitantly. Selena continue on, continues on. The thing is that the painting that we posed for recently will be shown in two days at the one ma major city exhibition. Exhibition. Yeah, yeah, exhibition. Kurt says, like, for real? Selena. Yeah, don't even ask me how Rosa managed to make a deal with the organizers in such a short time. I don't know it myself. Kurt thinks to himself, probably because of her connections, but it doesn't matter now. Apparently, she wanted it very badly. Selena, that was definitely one of the reasons. Anyway, there's going to be a lot of paintings and a few of them will belong to my mom. Oh, I can't wait to see what your mom been cooking up. You already got a glimpse of what she been cooking up by going into her little, uh, her little studio apartment. So I can't wait to see what else she got in store. Hopefully she ain't paint something we ain't, we ain't, we ain't see yet. You know, so imagine going to the thing and there's a whole bunch of paintings of Rosa and Kurt. Or just paintings of Kurt. Bro, that's weird, bro. That would be a weird thing to see. Selena says she wants us both to be there. Hope she will accept this invitation. Kurt says, I don't mind. Just tell me when we, when and where. Selena, in two days, if you want, you can come over and we'll go together. Kurt, yeah, it's going to be a lot easier. Deal. Yo, I forgot all about the band playing these last few episodes. I forgot we, we, we in a band. Selena says, see you then, Kurt. See you, Kurt says. Decided that as long as you had a free time before you shift at the bar, you could see Jacob. As far as I'm aware, he's supposed to be at his father's workshop at this time, sometime later. So we up here, uh, this look like a shop, little, little car shop I see. Okay, okay. Kurt says to himself, here I am. This is where Jacob moonlights in his spare time. I don't think it's gonna be hard to find him here. Kurt says, yeah, I was right. There he is. This don't even look like Jacob, dog. I, I don't even recognize him. You feel me? Hey man, Jacob questions, Kurt, what, you, what are you doing here, Kurt? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing here? Kurt, well, you're the one who usually comes to me, but today I decided to pop up at your shop. Unexpected. You know what I'm saying? No notice or nothing. Especially since we haven't seen each other for such a long time. It definitely feels like a long time. Jacob says, that's for sure. It's cool that you stopped by. Kurt, um, I can see you're from dirty, from your dirty clothes that you have a lot of work to do. Jacob agrees. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. You know what I'm saying? My father's been pissing me off with more and more responsibilities lately. Kurt says, that's tough, bro. Jacob, yeah. Jacob says, but enough talk about my problems. Tell me what brings you here. Kurt agrees. Yes. The thing is, I had an idea to get the whole band together. What do you say to that? Jacob says, are you kidding me? I'm all for it. I think the other guys will agree too. Kurt. Okay, great. How about we meet this time outside the rehearsal room? Jacob said, I don't see any reason to, against that. I'm down. Kurt says, are you free tomorrow? Jacob questions. Hmm, tomorrow? Let me, let me think on that. Yeah, probably. Kurt says, you sure about that? Jacob, absolutely. I will never miss this meeting. Kurt says, okay. That's awesome, Jacob. Uh-huh. So, have you decided what we're going to do? I have a few options, but how about a pizza place, Kurt says. Jacob, hmm, not a bad choice. I haven't eaten pizza in ages, man. I haven't eaten. Matter of fact, 
But think of it, I haven't eaten pizza in ages too. I usually get the, you know, the hand toss, a little bit of pepperoni on there, you know what I'm saying? Probably some vegetables if, if I'm feeling to it, but usually just cheese and pepperoni. What, what kind of toppings y'all mess with, man? Leave down in the comment section below what, what y'all, y'all like y'all plain pizza? What kind of pizza y'all eat, man? A worker says, hey, Jacob, stop talking. Come on, I need your help. Jacob agrees. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, but you heard him. I have to go to work. Kurt? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I have to go too. I have a shift at the bar today. Jacob, got it. Then I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yeah, see you tomorrow, says Kurt. Well, it's time to go to the club, Kurt says to himself. Came to work, changed your clothes, and headed straight to the bar. When you were at the bar, you noticed a new security guard that was there. And he's having a good time here, even pouring himself a damn drink and damn sell. Okay. If memory serves me right, his name is Vincent. Kurt says, hey, Vincent, as he greets the new security guard. Vincent? What? Oh, it's you, Kurt. Sorry, I didn't notice you showed up. Kurt, huh? Very strange, considering your, your new position. Vincent, I'm not on duty yet, so it took some liberties. Kurt says, yeah, I already noticed that. What is, he, what is he sipping on? Some scotch? Vincent? Yes, I'm sorry I used the bar without permission. Nobody was here, so I thought it would be okay if I poured myself a drink. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, but it tell me what you're drinking, says Kurt. Vincent, you mean that stuff? Honestly, I don't even know what it is. I found it in the farthest, dustiest drawer. But don't worry, judging by the label, it's something very, very cheap. Cheap and old? I see you like to take a risk, says Kurt. Vincent says, take a risk? Well, maybe just a little bit. But this stuff is so strong, I didn't even drink it. Wise decision, says Kurt. You walked into the bar and started getting ready for work. Vincent says, hmm, do you always come here so, so early? The opening will be in a half an hour. Kurt says, yeah, I guess it's just stops right there. There's a pause. Anna says, no, no, I already told you. Kurt says to himself, I recognize that voice. You and Vincent notice Anna coming down the stairs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't forget about you, Anna. I ain't forget about you, baby. You know what I'm saying? What the hell do you think I should do now? No, I told you it shouldn't work like that, says Anna. It seems like the phone call went really wrong for her, Kurt says to himself. Vincent, looks like our boss is in a, in a good mood today. I guess you might be right about that, says Kurt. Don't you dare hang up on me. I'm not done with you yet. As Anna's arguing on the phone. Hello? Hello? Yeah, they, that looks like they hung up on your ass, Anna. What an asshole, says Anna. Anna goes and plays with her hair. She says, God, I don't like unreliable people at all. Wow, I wonder who screwed up her so bad, Kurt says to himself. Anna's heavy eyes fell on a lonely glass in the bar. Oh, she need a drink bad, man. Let's go. I don't, can she handle that drink? I think Anna will knock that shot down. No questions asked. Kurt thinks to himself, oh shit, I should have taken it away. The girl took a glass of alcohol in her hands and brought it to her lips. Kurt in his head, huh? You didn't have time to blink before the glass was empty. See, I already knew it. I already knew Anna was going to take that in one shot. And we just looking at her like, yo, how did she do that? Vincent over here saying, yo, that's strong. I, I couldn't even finish the whole drink. I took one sip. And then Kurt, my son Kurt over here like, damn, son. That's the type of girl I need to know. You know what I'm saying? She takes a heavy sigh. Oh, that's some strong stuff, isn't it? Anna says. Pause. Everybody pause in silence. Hey, stop looking at me like that. I've had an extremely lousy day, says Anna. Kurt says, yeah, we can see that. Did something happen? Did something happen, says Anna. It's been a disaster. That's what happened. The jerk DJ just said he wasn't coming in to his ship. Oh, my God. The DJ did a did a call out. Come on, bro. DJs can't be doing a call out. We need music up in the club and the bar, bro. Kurt says to himself, oh, it seems to be very un a very unpleasant situation, especially for the manager who runs this whole place. That is for Anna. You know, I wouldn't even be mad at that idiot if he told me beforehand, says Anna. But no, why would he do that? It's better to call and say so 20 minutes before his shift. Probably decided to make me feel bad about it. Man. 20 minutes before the shift and you call out as a DJ where the DJ sets the whole mood and the vibe and the tone of the whole atmosphere, bro. Good music is everything. It sets the mood for everything. It makes and creates new experiences and memories, man. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so annoyed with unreliable people like him. She said un unreliable twice. I think they, she's trying to stick something to her head, man. She's trying to say, yo, y'all y'all motherfuckers better not call out. Or if y'all call out, y'all better let me know beforehand. Y'all can't. No, no emergencies or nothing. Man, we don't want to get on Anna's bad side for sure. Vincent says, can't you find someone to replace him? 
at such be offensive at such short notice, even though it's a good idea to have a backup. You know what I'm saying? But when DJs, I don't know, man. And it says half an hour before the opening, I might as well start looking for a unicorn. Pause moment. Wait a minute. I have an idea, says Anna. Kurt, you're a musician. Please tell me you could replace him. Kurt says, who? A, a unicorn? And it says, DJ, of course, dummy. Uh, actually, not even, not every musician knows how to use a DJ's remote control, says Kurt. Oh, so you don't know, says Anna? Kurt says, I didn't say that. A long time ago, I used to have some experience with this stuff at several house parties. But we're talking about something more professional, right? Anna's thinking. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, look at Pete Vince's face, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I know, I feel you, my brother. I feel you, Vincent. And it says, look, I know this whole situation is very uncomfortable, but I don't have any other choice right now. I need your help. Besides, today is a weekday and we shouldn't be that busy. Kurt says, it's like this fact will make this job easier. Just tell me, can you handle it? I wouldn't ask you to do that if it wasn't something very important, says Anna. Kurt, well, purely hypothetically speaking, I think I can handle it, but, 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 Anna cuts off Kurt. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Kurt says, hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't be in a hurry to be so happy now. You know what I'm saying? Wait till I finish what I was about to say. Uh, what do you mean, says Anna? Kurt says, please don't think I don't want to help you, but if I will be in charge of the music, who's going to work at the bar? Like you said, there's not much time left before the opening. I'm not sure you'll be able to find a replacement for me. It's such short notice. Mm hmm. Don't worry about it. I'll replace you myself, says Anna. Kurt, she. This isn't the first time I'm going to take over for one of the bartenders, says Anna. This option somehow didn't even occur to me, in Kurt's head. So you really take over for me, says Kurt? Anna says, Haha, didn't expect me to know how to do that, huh? Actually, no, says Kurt. It may surprise you guys, but at the beginning of my career, in this club, I often had to work for the staff, you know? Including the bartenders. Kurt says, impressive. Thank you. Okay, Kurt. I'm going to go change into work clothes in the meantime. Try to get the equipment sorted out, all right? And you don't even got to change, my baby. You, 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 could, you could work. You could bartender in that white dress, but I feel it, though. You don't, you don't want to accidentally get some wine spilled on a beautiful, elegant, chef's kiss white dress you know what i'm saying yeah i'll try says kurt great anna says vincent says yeah well i don't envy you buddy that's why when someone at work who asks you if you know how to do something that is not part of your job always say no kurt says that's a bit cynical you say it's cynical and i say it's practical it will also save you a lot of time and nerve says vincent maybe so but how is now it's too late to change anything says kurt besides maybe i'll get credit for it vincent says anyway good luck with the dj stuff and I hope you know what you're doing because if things go wrong, you'll take responsibility. That's a fact, yo. If you mess up on the music, you just you just a vibe can be getting mad at you. Like, yo, you fucking up the music. You fucking up the vibes. Kurt, yeah, well, he's probably right about that, he says in his head. Vincent says, well, I better get to work too before somebody asks me to wear food and drink trays here. Yeah, good luck, says Kurt. Sometime later. We get, oh, we get to the booth, you know what I'm saying? We got some headphones. What is this book right here? I don't know what that says, bro. I ain't about to just turn my head all the way around, but... So that's where I'm going to be working today. What a mess, Kurt says in his head. Shit, I have no idea where to start. Okay, let's try to remember everything from the basics. A little more time later. Okay, this one here. Yes, it seems to be good. Kurt over here working the equipment and all that. Getting the, getting the mixer and the equalizer all set, you know what I'm saying? Anna pops up. Oh, I see you've got almost everything figured out, huh? Kurt looks over to Anna. That's too much to say. It was pretty hard to understand how things work here, but I think I can do it. Awesome, says Anna. You just have no idea how much you've helped me out. Catherine would have killed me if this whole situation hadn't been resolved. Oh yeah, do the up and down. Do the up and down. Yeah, yeah. Do that with Anna, man. Yo, go back up. Yeah, yo, you, yo, you know, you know me so well. You know how I get all up and down on that. Yo, Anna looking spiff. Yo, chef's kissing his dick, you know. This might be the yeah, let's bring Anna back with a thummy. Let's bring him back with the with the th Thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? Well, what do you think? How do I look in a new bartender? Yo, man, you know exactly how you look, baby. You know what I'm saying? You looking fine, oin, oin. With extra oin on there. Kurt says, you look amazing. I think somebody's got to get a lot of tips. It's going to get a lot of tips today. And I laughed. I could use a little extra cash, too. Well, in that case, I wish you luck, says Kurt. 
And it says, yeah, a little bit of luck wouldn't hurt either of us today. Some more time later. You see Kurt over there mixing it up, you know what I'm saying? Get into the groove of things. Very soon the club was filled with visitors and you and Anna started your new duties. To your surprise, you did a good job as a DJ. Kurt says in his head, after all, it's not some complicated science, so it's not that hard to handle. Anna, meanwhile, had no difficulty serving her clients, not yielding to the most skillful bartender. She wasn't lying when she said she was already in that position. This is why she's manager. This is why she's in the position she is. You know what I'm saying? She make, she make executive decisions. The right decisions. Oh. Kurt, you know, you did music, right? You could, you could do DJ. And then she could work the bar. She could move. Man, she is right for that position. You know what I'm saying? Catherine definitely picked the right one. Everything was going so well. A few hours later, end of the shift. Oh, here comes the best bartender in the world. Kurt over here gassing up Anna. Anna says, and the best DJ. <laughs> As Anna go ahead and gas up Kurt. Kurt agrees, yeah. I think you and I did a pretty good job today, huh? Oh, yes, we did, Anna says. If you want to know, I've hardly noticed the difference between your music and those so-called professional DJs who usually perform here. Kurt in his head, huh? Either these guys perform so badly or I'm pretty good at it. Do you need help cleaning up? Kurt said, ask. Anna says, no, you don't have to. You've done enough for me today. Now you can go home. Well, whatever you say, Kurt agreed. He ain't gonna ask no more questions. Right, hey, get up out of there. Anna, Anna stops Kurt. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Kurt says, yes. Thanks again for helping me today, Anna says. All right, you said that twice, you know what I'm saying? What, you got something else you wanna say, Anna? No problem, Kurt says. Soon you went home. There was a new day ahead of you. The next day. As you agreed with Jacob and other bandmates, you were supposed to meet together at the pizza place. This time, you're one of the first to show. Lisa sees Kurt and greets. Hey, Kurt, I'm here. Uh, I can see you, Lisa. You're like the only one there. Like, look, it look like they quarantined, quarantining them damn self. Like, it's, it ain't packed or nothing. So, of course, I see. Kurt, go ahead and do a little flirty greeting to Lisa. Hey, pretty girl. Lisa laughs. Hello to you, too. Come sit next to me. Sure, says Kurt. You sat next to Lisa and kissed her right away. Mmm. You damn player, man. You, you was a d motherfucking player, Kurt. You gonna, you gonna kiss up on Lisa knowing you done had the red-headed beast and the red-headed snake. You sly devil, you. Mmm, Lisa says. Kurt says, oh, how much I missed that. I missed you too, Lisa says. So, Kurt, you seem to need time to figure out your studies. So is everything okay now? He asks Lisa. Lisa answers back. I guess so, except for the fact that I almost lost my mind when I closed all my debts. But now I can say that everything is okay. Now I'm ready to go back to our rehearsals. Kurt says, that's great. Yeah, and frankly, I can't wait to plunge into this whole musical life again, says Lisa. Kurt, I like your attitude. Thanks, Lisa says. Oh, by the way, while I was buried in my books, I had some ideas for a new song. Kurt, I hope it's not connected to studying and science and stuff like that. What you mean? These things are aren't popular right now, says Lisa. Kurt says, in music, well, not really. <laughs> Don't worry. That's not what I'm, my new song is about, says Lisa. Kurt says, oh, and what is it about then? Same as usual, love, youth, parties, and everything related to it, says Lisa. Ah, an internal set of themes for a young musician. I approve. I'd be damn glad to hear that song, says Kurt. Lisa says, okay, you'll be the first to hear that song when I'm done. I better be the first one. What are you talking about, Lisa? I'm your, I'm your man, you know what I'm saying? I need to hear everything first. Deal, says Kurt. The, the squad is all here. The gang is all here. When they finally showed up, we could finally get this, you know what I'm saying, this meeting going. Jacob, well, well. Look, Jade, they're so into this conversation, they didn't even notice us here. Lisa says, then you shouldn't be late. Fair enough, says Jacob. Kurt, all right, guys, sit down and let's order something. I'm dying for pizza. Soon, Jacob and Jade joined you, and all together, you started discussing the menu. A few minutes later, you made your order and kept talking about everything in the world some time later. Oh, look at, look at that pizza. You know, they got the, my favorite pepperoni on there. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with the Coke. Hey, somebody drinking Coke with a straw. I think it's Lisa. Nah, we don't do Coke. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we don't do no soda. What is that? That's coffee? 
Okay, okay. I don't know what that, that lemony looking pineapple soda looking ass drink. I don't know about that. Jacob says, and I'm telling you, we just need to create fan pages with our band on the internet right now. It's the only way to be popular now. Well, only if you don't do some completely insane stuff. I agree with Jacob. Any road to popularity now lies through the web, says Kurt. Jacob, I knew you'd be back up. Back me up, buddy. Jay chimes in. Look, I don't think any of us have any doubts about this, but wouldn't it be better to distribute the areas of responsibility in this case? Okay, okay, Jay putting some, 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 some input in here. In other words, who and for what will be responsible, at least at first. Okay, she's, Jade is very logical. We can find that out from that statement alone. I'm in charge of the creative part, says Jacob. Jade, if you want, I can try to take over the financial role, the accounting and everything connected with it. So Jade, she has some expertise with the finances. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Kurt says, you sure about that? It's not as simple as it may seem. Don't worry, I have some experience with things like that, says Jade. Lisa, and if anything, you can always count on our help. Jay's, yes, thank you. Hmm, if everybody takes on some responsibilities, I could take the management. I think I can handle it, says Kurt. Lisa says, um, then what should I do? Silence. Kurt says, you, Lisa, will be our main star. The face of our band. Lisa says, and how is that? Kurt says to himself, she seems interested in it. As far as I know, you got more subscribers on social media than all of us combined. Yeah, but I never really got into it, says Lisa. Kurt, and now with our help, you will. Okay, sounds like fun. I'm in, Lisa says. Some time later. Jacob, by the way, I have two more bits of news. One is good and the other is, is, the other is just okay. What news should I start with? The good one or the usual news? Let's build it up. Let's start, let's start with the usual news and then we'll give them the good one. You know what I'm saying? We got to build up the hype. Kurt says, start with the usual one. Okay, Jacob says. Tomorrow morning, we'll have to go to the club where we performed, pick up the fee, and talk to the owner. I think he wanted to discuss something. Kurt says, so? Jacob, I'd go and find out myself, but I have a job tomorrow. Besides, Kurt has now taken on the role of manager. That's why. Kurt says, so what a smart ass. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll do it myself, says Kurt. Jacob, great. I knew I could count on you, bro. I'm not busy tomorrow. If you want, I can go with you, says Jade. I love any company, says Kurt. Lisa says, damn, I'd go with you too, but I've got college. Kurt, don't worry, Jade, and I will handle this. So we'll meet tomorrow morning, says Jade. Kurt says, yeah. Okay, now I want to know what the second bit of news is. Let's get to the good news, man. Let's, let's get to the good news. And the second bit of news, Jacob says, okay. I know we haven't been able to celebrate together since our last gig. Lisa says, by the way, it didn't work out just because of you. Jacob, yes, yes, I know. Thank you for reminding me, Lisa. You're welcome, says Lisa. Jacob, however, an old friend of mine and Kurt is throwing a party in two days, and, and he invited all of us there. Who exactly are we talking about, says Kurt. Jacob says the name about Little Barry. Little Barry questions, Lisa, Lisa questions. Kurt, don't be fooled by that nickname. He weighs as much as Jacob and I put together Damn, it's been a while since I've seen him. So you're saying he's having a party in two days? Jacob says, yep. A whole bunch of people are coming. We just have to be there. Kurt says, I agree with you. I think we should go all go there. This guy really knows how to throw a party. In two days? I think I can I think I can go, says Lisa. Kurt says, what about you, Jade? I think I can go too, says Jade. Jacob says, <laughs> let me run that back. That's great. That's where we will all have fun together. After a little more chat with the guys, you remembered you had to go to work. Okay, guys, it's been fun, but I got to go. You know what I'm saying? I got to hit the road. Lisa questions already? Sorry, but duty call, says Kurt. I'll see you all later. Bye, Kurt. See you later, bro. Bye. You've been working at the club all night. Soon after your shift ended, you came home. There was a new day ahead of you. Next morning. Somebody's at the door. Who could that possibly be? Damn, who could it be so early? And we're going to leave it off a cliffhanger, y'all. We're going to leave it off on that cliffhanger. Who could be at the door? Who is it? Who, is it Selena? Is it Rosa? Is it, the, is it the big sis? Or is it sis's friend? Find out next time on the next episode of Become a Rock Star. Nah, I'm not playing y'all, but yo, thank y'all for stopping by and rocking with y'all boy. Once again, hit that like button. Subscribe to your boy if you haven't already. 
man, if you haven't this far, man, you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the story, man. I hope you give me some time with some mana, man. Need some time with some mana. I'm saying. But yo, it's your boy Rad Rad in the bed if you want more, man. Stick around. It's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.